Hey, hello everyone. Today, we will discuss about one important config which is relevant for quantity confirmation in sales order. And this availability check rule controlled for each and every sales area wise. And the transaction code to access this availability check rule is that OVZJ. And the relevant database table for this is that TVTA. And the field here is REVFP. Here we have a couple of options. Uh, let's go one by one. So whenever uh, the first option, the blank has been selected, and so during sales order creation in foreground, V01 are changing an order in V02. If full quantity not available, or the request delivery date could not met, system will display this dialog box. And in this dialog box, we have options to select uh, the delivery proposal, one time delivery, or go with confirming anything. That means confirm quantity will become zero. So in case of background job, uh, whenever the BOP job runs on the sales order, that point of time, system will always go with the full delivery option whenever this option is selected. The second one is A, that is one time delivery. So whenever this option has been uh, enabled for sales area wise, then uh, if the uh, partial quantity is available, then uh, that partial quantity will be confirmed on the requester date or system can propose a future date with confirmed quantity. So whatever the available quantity will be confirmed. So in this case, system will propose only one active confirmed schedule line only. Here we don't get multiple schedule lines with multiple confirmed quantities. So in this case, uh, the quantity will be fully confirmed or partially confirmed with only one schedule line. Multiple confirmed schedule lines won't be uh, displayed for this option. In case of uh, option B, full delivery. So whenever this option is uh, chosen, uh, that time system will try to confirm the full quantity based on the customer requested delivery date. If there is no quantity available on the request delivery date, system will uh, do the forward scheduling and uh, try to do the full quantity confirmation. If even in, in case of uh, forward scheduling also, full quantity not able to confirm, then system will propose zero confirmed quantity. That means if the option B is selected, system will either confirm full quantity or system won't confirm anything. And in this case as well, system won't propose multiple confirmed schedule lines. In case of A and in case of B, multiple schedule lines won't be allowed. The next option is a delivery proposal that is C. So this is quite opposite to uh, option uh, A and B. So whenever the required quantity is not available on the customer request date or uh, if the quantity is not available during that point of the date in both cases, system will propose a future date with a confirmed quantity. That confirmed quantity might be in one schedule line or multiple schedule lines. The next option is that D. So in this case also, when we try to create an order in VH01, change order in VH02, uh, system will try to propose a uh, dialog window where we can select the different options and in case of batch run uh, system always go with the one time delivery that means only one confirmed quantity schedule and will be displayed and uh, same with in case of e that is a delivery proposal in this case if the quantity not available during the request delivery date uh, then system will try to propose multiple uh, confirm schedule lines.